one of the two-part Harry Potter finale premieres here in the United States on Friday. Now, the first six movies have grossed about $10 billion. 5.4 of that went to Warner Brothers. That doesn't even include, you know, the DVD sales and all the, the rest of the accessories that go along with the film. So what's next for the franchise? And does Warner Brothers have anything to replace this? Well, let's bring in media analyst Porter Bibb from Media Tech Capital Partners. How do you replace a behemoth like that? Well, it's pretty hard because this is the biggest sequel series in movie history. Uh, it's going to go well over 15 billion when it, when all is said and done. When we add in all those extracurricular products, merchandising, theme park fees, and everything else, but the, they were very clever. This is Rawlings' last Harry Potter book, so they split the movie. This is part one. Part two comes out in July. It'll be 3D. They couldn't get the 3D fast enough to make it for a Christmas launch. So part one is in 2D. 3D will get about a 50 to 60 percent premium at the box office, and it'll be the first Harry Potter movie that goes over a billion dollars individually. Despite the huge numbers that you just mentioned, none of the pictures has yet grossed a billion dollars. But using this finale. Oh, it'll go right through the roof. Wow. Yes. So what happens after that? that that's a, a bit of a come down here. But Warner Brothers, they have to have rights to, to all the rest of, of the associated things. Well, no? they, they, they do, and, and dare, I dare say they will come up with uh, a Hogwarts <laughs> school uh, series for television or cable. And uh, don't forget, they, ha they have the Lord of the Rings franchise, uh, that New Line, which they folded. They telescope New Line into non-existence, but they've still got that franchise. And Peter Jackson's working on the next sequel for the Lord of the Rings. So they're not um, without very heavy-duty product. Well, they, they've had time to, to, to think this through. But um, you point out here, if you're going shopping and looking to buy the Harry Potter DVDs for Christmas, you're actually going to have a hard time. Oh, it, it, it'll be gone in the second hit shelf. But you can count on Warner Brothers coming out with all kinds of special collector's editions, the whole series in one, the whole series in Blu-ray, Blu the whole series in 3D. This is a nevergreen that will go on and on and on. We, we haven't seen the last of Harry. Uh, now, with the staying power off of this, I mean, you were saying you can translate it to TV, you can have right. spin-off series there, but part of the beauty of this, hasn't it been that they've kept the original cast of characters there, you've watched them grow up? I mean, does that That's get right. diluted? Well, actually, I think it's a benefit at the moment because the, the, the audience has grown up. Uh, Dan Radcliffe was 11 years old when he started, and, and Emma Watson was 11. They're now in their 20s. And, and she's with the highest grossing female star? She was the highest paid highest movie paid. female movie star in the world last year. But, it's crazy. But the audience has grown up too, so mm -hmm. there's a little edge, there's sex, there's a whole lot of new appeal, and I think Harry Potter, the, these last two films, is going to appeal to a huge audience.